what's up y'all <laughs> driving along in my automobile anyway driving along here y'all i heard some crazy mess on the radio and you know i had to come and give it to y'all right and i'm gonna ask y'all a question after i after i tell you the story quick story y'all there's a grandmother whose granddaughter is in elementary school she was strapped for cash. She needed a little cash, right? So what she did <clears throat> was she broke into her grandmother's safe using a screwdriver. <laughs> that ain't the hard, that ain't the bad part, y'all. She broke into her grandmother's safe using a screwdriver and got out $13,000. You heard me. 13K. 13 smackaroos, baby. 13K. She got out the safe. <laughs> what did she do with it? Guess what she did with it, y'all? <laughs> she distributed to her classmates at her elementary school. But... The police have been informed. Still bad news, y'all. They've only been able to recover. Guess how much? How much money did they were able to recover? Seven hundred dollars. Out of thirteen thousand dollars, they were only able to recoup. $700. What would you do if your granddaughter excuse me, broke into your safe and took out $13,000 which was all the money that you had. $13,000 distributed to her friends and the police was able only able to recover seven hundred dollars what would you do y'all remember that show what would you do i'll wait oh what would i do i had to put a little disclaimer out there <clears throat> and say that uh my mother will come out my grandmother <laughs> Because those were some Annie Oakleys and Della Reese's, okay, of the family. And what, I'm going to put this disclaimer out and say, my pre-Christian days and younger years, when I really didn't, you know, didn't have the tools that I had to deal with uh, adversary, uh, yeah. I would tear it up every time I see her. Every time I see her. I'll wake her up. I don't care. Every time she's in my presence, I would tear her up. So it would be wise for them. <laughs> it would be wise for her parents for her to not see, not see me again until she is an adult. Y'all, that's a... If you have never had anyone st steal from you, you wouldn't understand. But if you are a single parent and you have you were burglarized, your home was burglarized or your car were, was uh, burglarized, you know, um, and it's just you and your child on one income, and someone steals from you, it doesn't matter how small. It's like, it felt, I went through that experience and it felt like, why do you just come on and just battle me for a fight? Let's just fight. Let's just fight. I'd rather just, I had rather had a fight with that person than them to steal from me. So, anyway, let me know in the comments below. 
What would you do? $13,000, y'all. Granny is done. Christmas coming up. I will beat her tail. I don't care. We can be in Sunday services. And she could be in a choir. If I look, if I happen to look up and we make eye, eye contact, I'm tearing it up in the choir. I'm tearing it up in the church house. I'm tearing it up in the grocery store. I'm tearing it up at school. I'm tearing it up coming from school. I'm tearing it up. I mean, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna tear it. I'm gonna tear it down, tear it up, tear it sideways until I feel better. <laughs> and usually, that could be a long time <laughs> for something like that. But on a serious note, my um, knowing how to handle things now um, and knowing that I'd rather have my health than material things and also knowing that things happen for a reason and the mentality of that person, that child, keyword child, other keyword family, but you know, even the um, what needs to be get done, what needs to happen is to get to the root of why, on a serious note, as to why this baby felt the need to go <clears throat> and distribute money. That's for acceptance. So we need to figure out what's going on with baby first, you know. And um, also nowadays what I would do would be to, like I say, check on my ch check on the child m mental state first. And, you know, we'll take care of that. Those things could, things could be replaced, you know, knowing that I, knowing things like I know now, um, knowing how this life works, you know, I would definitely, um, that's something I have to definitely sit down and pray about. Pray. Pray, 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 pray. And probably fast, too. But I would have to really seriously pray about that and seek guidance on that because that was something that I could not, I would not be able to handle by myself because, for one, it's a betrayal of trust. And, uh, yeah, so that's what I would do now, knowing the things in life that I know now. But my pre-Christian days, baby, <laughs> it's like that devil and that angel. Them pre-Christian days would have been like, oh, no, no, no. Oh, this going to get handled. But y'all tell me what y'all think in the comments. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you. I appreciate you all for watching. And if you're new to my channel, make sure that you go ahead and subscribe. It's free. Doesn't cost anything. Doesn't cost anything. It's free. Come on, help me get to those thousands of to those thousand subscribers. I really appreciate it, y'all. And y'all have a blessed day.